My mom told me that the secret to pleasing a man is through his stomach, but I have found a convenient detour through the penis. <laughs> getting worse and I was thinking about getting LASIK. I did some research but I don't know it's a not covered by insurance and it's really expensive but then I noticed that insurance companies are really keen on anything helping out the penis you know like Viagra the penis pump you know so I thought I'd write them a letter and say that I've been having trouble seeing penises <laughs> and I need the surgery so I can, you know, assist in the penis and just help make the penis healthier. And I think that might kick in. I know one penis that would be happy, and that's my husband. <laughs> I mean, we're still hot and heavy, don't get me wrong, but I know he masturbates. But I asked him, I said, well, what do you think about when you masturbate? And he looked me right in the eye and he said, I think about our wedding. <laughs> I think about the colors that we chose. And then my heart gets racing. I think about the font that we picked out for the invitations. <laughs> and apparently it's the cake toppers that really just send him over the edge. <laughs> Here are some things about me, um, <laughs> for better or worse, okay. So I uh, lost some money in an investment the other year because I wanted to open a pet salon that was gothic themed and I was gonna call it catacombs. <laughs> I dance like no one's watching, but I make love like everyone is. <laughs> everyone. Good. Okay. So, a couple years ago, I went on a date with a man, and he was like, hey, I bought you pizza. Why don't we go back to my place and do a little wah, wah, wah. And I was like, what? He's like, we'll do a little wah, wah, wah. And I was like, I think your pantomime's off. <laughs> and he was like, is it? Or do I just have a hook dick? <laughs> wah, wah, boom. And he did, and we, we did, went on a few more dates after that. Um, I went to the gynecologist, and <laughs> it's not true, I've never been. Um, I'm not gonna. Okay. So there we go, I guess. Oh, thank you. Leighton beats Leinstein Borscht. That's German, um, for I'm not wearing any underwear. Shang Ni Fang Poin Kai. It's Mandarin. For just kidding. Hey. Alue, a choupe, a bougele, pou. That's French, of course. For actually, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not wearing any underwear <laughs> at all. Or any inhibitions for that matter. <laughs> As you can see, I, I speak many languages, including the language of sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there. This morning, I, I woke up from this Real sexy sex, sex dream. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, sex dream. Yeah. Um, where I was uh, making love to George Washington. <laughs> or rather, he was making love to me and I was just keeping real still. <laughs> like it's done. Um, 
And things are going better than I could have ever dreamed of, <laughs> which is ironic. Um, <laughs> when halfway through, out of nowhere, my vagina just turns into this avocado pit, and George Washington was like, what the f is that? <laughs> Um, I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> Wanted to die. Thank God I woke up, because <laughs> I don't know how I would have gotten out of that mess. I have been trying to learn how to cook, and I've been very adventurous in the kitchen. In fact, the other night, there was this huge explosion, because I tried to combine pasta with antipasta. <laughs> No bueno. Mm. If I were to be a food critic, I already know what my first negative review would be. It would say, the Gorgonzola burger at Cafe Lue, Kristen Shaw says, I couldn't poop it out fast enough. <laughs> yeah, that's universe. That does deserve an applause. You're right. You're right! The story of how I was born is, is pretty incredible. Um, my mom and my dad met when my dad was fighting in the Persian Gulf War, the great one. And he was fighting harder than he's ever fought in his entire life, but he still got captured by the Persians. So, yeah, harrowing. So what they did to my dad is they drug him to this abandoned warehouse where they demanded that he reveal all of the American secrets. Um, there's only one, but it's a good one. And I'm not gonna say it out loud because this show is being hosted by a foreigner. <laughs> so, but we, we know, we know what it is. So, um, he refused to reveal the secret, and they uh, ordered him to strip down to his underwear. And my dad wore these um, tidy whitey boxer briefs uh, with these French cuts up the side here. <laughs> Do they still make those? Uh, and he has this incredible tattoo of a bald eagle just spread across his chest and it's giving birth to a coyote. <laughs> right here. And the coyote is just fresh to the world and, and dripping with placenta and, <laughs> and it's starving. So it is going to town on the stomach of a deer, um, just, just eating it. And the, the entrails of the deer are just peeking out ever so subtly from the French cuts up the side. So that's my dad. <laughs> and uh, even in his statuesque yet vulnerable state, he still refused to reveal the secret, thank God. So what they did was they strapped him into a chair so that he couldn't move a muscle. And they installed a faucet over his head that would drip just one drop of water methodically on his forehead so that he would lose his mind. It's called Chinese water torture for all of you that are not Chinese. <laughs> the torture that they are coming up with in China is so creative. They have this other method where they'll take a, a bamboo and they'll plant it in your anus and just let it grow. So patient. Man, watch out for China, I say. They have all the ambition as we do, but none of the heart. Um, so there is my dad. Now, just in case you're out there sitting there thinking, I don't think this story is true. I think she's making this up. Well, I tell you what, I brought my dad here tonight to do a dramatic reenactment to prove to you that it happened. So if my, if my dad crawls shell, if you could come out, my dad. Okay, slow down, Dad, slow down. Okay, so Dad, so, okay, so you were sitting, sitting like you were. Remember how you were tied up? Now, Dad, I thought that we um, agreed that you'd come out without your shirt so that they could see the tattoo. Okay, I guess the world's not ready. Okay, 
so, so there you were, you were tied down, right? And there was a, a drip just coming down, driving you nuts, right, Dad? And, they, and you wouldn't reveal the secret. And what, what's the secret, Dad? He's good, he's good. So patriotic, okay. So, so there's my dad, and he's just losing his mind. God, that must have been awful for you. Okay, and then um, on the fourth night, uh, my mom, who was the enemy, snuck into the warehouse. And yes, I did bring my mom, Pam Shaw, if she could come out. She is, okay. Your mom, all right. So, now mom, so you, you were the enemy, right? And you snuck in and you were just overcome by dad's courage and his ink, right? Okay, so, um, so now what you did next was, didn't you, you sat on dad's lap, right? Do you wanna reenact that for everybody? What happened there? Okay. There you go. Okay, well, I thought you straddled them, but I, I wasn't there, so it's fine. Okay, so this is the best part. So mom, you, okay, this is, so you, your long blonde hair back then was just whipping in dad's face, right? This is so young, and, um, and it, this is tough, because he, you know, he was the prisoner, but also possibly the future father of an amazing child, right? So, so what did you do next, Mom? This is my favorite part. What, did, what happened? You did him, didn't you, Mom? <laughs> did him, and that's how I was born.